All right, guys. So, me and Leo decided to do a collaboration. Thanks for Leo for uh, initiating it. And guys, what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to go over a brief in, introduction of ourselves real quick, and then we're gonna hop into uh, our top ten jerseys of all time. So the way this worked is me and Leo decided on five jerseys from each of the four major sports. Obviously, soccer is a major sport. Uh, the most major in the world, but here in the United States, it's not as major as hockey, basketball, baseball, football. All right, so we're going to stick to those four sports for the most part. And we chose five per sport. And then from those five, we're going to rank each of our top 10. But the thing that is, we don't know each other's top 10 from that 20 uh, list of uniforms. Now, guys, we're going to do obviously uniforms. And it's going to be for the 2022 calendar year. So that includes the 21-22 season and the 22-23 season. And then in baseball, obviously the 2022 season. Any jersey that was worn from January 1st, 2022 until December 31st, 2022. All right, guys. So again, we chose from a pool of 20 jerseys that we decided on. But we do not know each other's top 10 rankings. We're going to get into that now. And what that started, Leo, why don't you give us a little, a little introduction about yourself? So, uh, uh, first off, thanks for having me. Um, I'm King Leonidas. And uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, I basically do sports apparel. So, jerseys, sneakers. Um, I'll dabble into some fashion, but those are pretty much the two main things <clears throat> that I pretty much review, right? Uh, as far as I've been on YouTube for about five years now, I would say. Uh, my first video was six years ago, but I never really took it seriously until one day I seen a bunch of subscribers out of nowhere. And about, I would say, 2018, 19, I took it a little bit more serious and decided to put a lot of content out there for you guys. So, uh, you know, long story short, I'm a huge sports fan uh, from the New York area. Uh, most of my team suck because they're from the New York area as well. Yeah, but that. my love for sports has translated into jerseys, has translated into sneakers. And and that's pretty much that, man. So I'm glad to do this with uh, Jersey Jaguar. And eventually we'll put this on both our channels. Right now it's going live on his channel, but I'll put this on my channel as well. And uh, yeah, that's um, I can't wait for it. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, guys. So thanks, Leo, for, for that uh, brief bio. Now, guys, in terms of myself, you know, I'm the Jersey Jaguar. Uh, I'm from Chicago, and basically I, I got the name Jaguar guys when I was uh, fighting. You know, I spent a big part of my life in boxing, Muay Thai, and kickboxing, and I got the name Jaguar from that. But, it, you know, since I was a young teenager, I started collecting jerseys, so I got all these jerseys laying around. I'm like, yeah, well, why not start a YouTube and become the Jersey Jaguar? So that's how I got the name. That's That's kind of like where it originated from. Now, guys, I collect uh, all five sports pretty pretty uh, heavily. You know, I love the Chicago teams, but they suck, just like Leo's and New York teams suck. We're kind of – it's good that we live in major cities, but being in a major city, you know, you get the bad end of the stick, and the teams like to take advantage of their fan base. So that's that, guys. Uh, I started YouTube actually only a couple months ago. Uh, a few of the guys in the community not only – inspire me, but also encourage me, you know, and King Leonidas is one of them, you know, and he uh, kept pushing me, hey man, do YouTube, do YouTube, you know, get us started, I think. It'd be good, you got a lot to talk about. And guys, with my YouTube channel, I like going over right now, currently, a lot of how-tos. I like to uh, share my knowledge that I gained to help people with their collection. And then obviously other jersey related stuff. And guys, what I'm gonna start doing too soon is get into the fashion aspect. Cause along with jerseys, I'm really into fashion. So I post a lot of stuff on social media from my fashion base and my collection in terms of that and different things I do, like mixing men's fashion with jerseys and coming up with unique styles. So I'm going to start doing it in YouTube as well. All right, guys. So with that said, we're going to get into our top 10 uniforms from the 2022 calendar year. Again, guys, it's the calendar year. All right. So with that said, Leo, let's start off with our top 10 uniforms. Uh, number 10, tell us who you got and why you chose them. All right, so number 10 for me is the Valley jersey. Now, okay. this is the Phoenix Suns City Edition jersey from last year. 
They actually repeated it from the year before as well. So I'm kind of cheating, I guess, but they did wear it during the 22 or 21, 22 season. It was the hottest Jersey from last year. Like if anybody who's a Jersey head knows how difficult it was to not only obtain it. I think the only place that had it was only one place, which was just sports. And if you got it from there, great, but it sold out instantly. And then it went up to $900. Now that's not the reason why I like it, <laughs> but I think it's a fire Jersey. It was a hot Jersey. I actually like their new uh, statement Jersey as well, which has a lot of the DNA from this Valley Jersey. But with that being said, it was too hot of a Jersey to not put on, on the list. I actually have the Jersey and I'm a, I feel ashamed because I can't find it currently. Like I have a couple of bins that I have to look through, but I do have the Jersey. If Jag has the Jersey, that'd be great. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, it's, it's just one of those jerseys so, that so what I'll do. Um, I have it here on hand already. So guys, as you can see, I'm sharing the screen so you guys can see it actually on the court. Uh, we got Bridges, Crowder, and CP3 there in the photo on the screen. And then this is the actual jersey itself with the PayPal patch. So, again, like Leo said, he has it, but it is sort of away. So, there you go. No, that is, it's beautiful, man. And that – the only thing that they, they kind of messed up on was the one. <laughs> Correct. Correct. But, uh, guys, yeah, that's, that's – yeah. That's my that's my temp spot, man. That that's I try to pride so so real quick like before I as a I feel like we're like a judge right now, right? So we're taking the best jerseys worn in sports, right? It's not necessarily the best jerseys we have cuz actually someone on this list I don't have right now on, on my personal list. But I want to take the best jerseys that we have in sports and to me this was one of the best jerseys that were worn through the 2022 year. For sure. Fair choice, dude. Fair choice. And, and, you know, it's one of those things that they wore in the 2022 season, mm -hmm. you know, and, like, it looks freaking insane. On the mm -hmm. court, it looks insane, insane in person. And, guys, if you have that jersey, and, like, King Lee United said, from Just Sports, they have the one a little bit too high. That's not all the jerseys from from, from Just Sports, all right? It's, it's not just yours. They, they got a mistake, if you guys are wondering about that. So, guys, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, I have how to strip numbers and how to customize jerseys. So, you can follow those two steps, and you can actually correct the jersey itself. It's a really, really easy uh, fix. I shouldn't take more than, like, a half hour in terms mm -hmm. of stripping it. So, Max. All right, Leo, thank you for that number uh, 10. Excellent and solid choice. So, guys, with my number 10, let me take this screen here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it to my number 10. back up and let's go share screen window share so i don't know who's 10 guys yeah so we're seeing this live right now all right guys so my number 10 and i have the jersey here in hand it is going to be that's so nice the 2022 Minnesota Wild Winter Classic jersey and uniform. Now, guys, they played versus the St. Louis Blues in this game. One of the reasons why it chose it is it happened right at the start of the year, all right, just like, like the Winter Classics do every season. But this jersey has too many unique details for me not to, not to have put it in my top 10. One of the things that I liked about it is it's called a Winter Classic. The jersey's meant to be vintage inspired and supposed to look like a historic jersey even though they never, never wore them before right that's what that's what they base it on and this jersey looks purely like it's from like the 40s or 50s or even earlier with all the stripes it has and then it has the elbow patches as you guys can kind of see here on the top of the photo usually the elbow reinforcements go inside the jersey but on this one they put it on the outside of the jersey and just the color scheme alone says winter it makes you think about christmas and new year's and a warm, cozy, like, fireplace, right? So, guys, here's the jersey. I got Dumba. Okay. Uh, can you make your screen a little bigger, um, Jack? Yeah, let me see if I can do that. Yeah. All right, guys, so, so here's the jersey. And now I'm oh, going to flip back to the 
split screen with me and Leo. Now this... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even realize the elbow patches. They're, exactly, they're man. That's the reason why I chose it because th this is the first <laughs> time I've seen this on any current jersey in the NHL. That looks. That's a good looking jersey, dude. Yeah, and then you got the Winter Classic patch. So, guys, for for those reasons I stated, that's that's gonna be my number ten. Now, Jag, the Winter Classic patch is it different every year? Yes. Yes. Um, Excellent question. Every every year it's different. That's awesome. All right, let me try to get you. There we go. Cool. All right, guys, bear bear with uh with me, if possible. But this one's my first time using StreamYard. It's, it's good so far. All right, Leo, take okay. us away with number nine. Oh, so me, I got for number nine. Yeah. So I got. So here's here was my philosophy a little bit. Okay. I wanted to uh, make sure that players wore the jersey for this calendar year, right? So one of the better football jerseys of this year, and I actually have three football jerseys on my list, but this is my number nine pick, right? right. We had the Dallas Cowboys, Okay. Micah Parsons. Now, not only the jersey is a beautiful jersey, it's a classic throwback. It goes back to the years of, I mean, Emmitt Smith wore these style of jerseys. Um, DeMarcus Ware wore these style of jerseys. So there's so many different time periods throughout this season, uh, throughout this uh, Cowboys history that we've seen them wear, right? Look how beautiful it looks with the white helmet as Jag is displaying it on, on the screen, man. But it's just a fire jersey. It's super clean on field. And it's one of the better NFL jerseys, in my opinion. Not my That's favorite, nice, dude. but it's definitely one of the better. So this is my number ninth pick. Micah Parsons, but in the throwback Cowboys. Okay, and then so so we have him there on the full screen. I'm going to swap it back to the shared screen. And and just like you said, excellent jersey. And guys, there was one on eBay. It was a size 44. I wear a size 44. Uh, Leo, what, what do you wear in Nike Elite? I'm a 48. Okay, so so this is a 48. I'm a 44. They had a 44. Um, Like, it went up to like 168 bucks. It's just a little bit on it and so my other two Cowboys jerseys, but it is what it is. Excellent jersey, Leo. Excellent choice. And as you guys can see on the screen, all those details he mentioned so beautiful so guys actually my number nine is going to be also nfl it's gonna be my first nfl obviously for this presentation let me get it here on the screen uh, do, 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 do. exit out exit out all right guys this is actually so guys i'm from chicago bears were always my favorite team until I was about 11 years old. And then I really started liking the Steelers. Since then, the Steelers um, and the Bears were equally my favorite. But then ever since uh, a few seasons ago, when the Bears like messed up in the playoffs, that was it. The Steelers became my number one team. The Bears became my number two. I still cheer for the Bears, except if they play the Steelers. And then once the Bears get their act together, maybe they can pull back up to an uh, equal in my eyes. But enough of my uh, old man talk. My number nine is the... 2022 version of the Steelers color rush. Now, guys, the Steelers color rush, as you can see, is all black, gold stripes on the pants, gold on the front, gold stripes, gold stripes on the helmet, minimal white except for the helmet numbers and the Steelers logo. This jersey, Jay, how long have they been doing color rush for now? Five years? I believe so. I think at least three. I want to say since the old Nike elites. Yes. Yeah, so, so maybe maybe 2015, 16 or 16, 17. Yeah, yeah, I think possibly 17. Um, so guys, like like I love the color rush concept. You, you remember originally they did it every Thursday. All right, so it was originally on every Thursday, and then like the Steelers just kept them. And for me, like at the time when when the whole league was doing the color rush, it was still my favorite, uh, or top two favorite out of the whole. Color Rush, and it's still one of my favorite. Now, the jersey just looks too mean, especially on the field. When you guys are watching the games, it looks insane. I'm going to show you guys the jersey real quick. I have the 2017 version. What Jag did with this jersey looks so good, man. Like, <laughs> it looks so Hey, guys, so good. also, I have a YouTube uh, video on how to customize NFL jerseys. And I actually, this, this was uh, James Conner. I stripped it, and I turned it into this. So check out that video. Let me, dude. Can you make your screen big? Yeah. 
And there we go, guys. So again, this is the 2017 version because it has the Rooney Ooh. patch. So this is a my God. Um, TJ Watt rookie, all right? But this is the jersey itself. And again, this is the Nike Elite. This is a size 44. Um, I, I mean, dude, the, the, the contrast on it and being only two colors, like everything just works really well. So basically the 22 version looks like this. <laughs> no patch, as you guys can see in the photo. So that's my number nine. Um, for me, why I chose it is because the I'm, I mean, aesthetically, dude, for being a four or five year old jersey, man, like you can't like not put it in the top five every single season, you know. So that's why I have it as my number nine. All right, take us away with number eight. So number eight for me now. I have this jersey, but I do have the replica version. Of course, it's a Nike official licensed jersey. It is the replica version, though. I don't have it with me at the moment, but my number eight pick is the Washington Nationals. The City Connect jersey It's beautiful. If you have a picture of Jack, throw it up. Doing it right now, my man. <clears throat> um, it's just such a nice jersey. The grays, the cherry blossoms, the pinks. It's something so different. So it's definitely one of my favorite jerseys throughout the NBA, uh, M MLB season. Ooh, Man, okay. it's, a, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. So, yeah, that's my number eight spot. And then the hat. Like, if you look at the hat, man, the hat just goes with it so nicely. <laughs> yeah, man. The cherry blossoms on the bottom. And then, you know, <laughs> Nike, I guess, <laughs> being uh, doing the NBA as well. They use the cherry blossoms for their new city edition jerseys, but I love that jersey. I love the gray. The gray just really is a nice, um, yeah. basic neutral color. Yeah. And then the pops of the blossoms, just one of my favorites. And if you actually look at this jersey, there's sublimation in the jersey. So there is a lot. Yeah. So even on the on the replica version, there's little um, flowers throughout the whole entire jersey. Yeah. So it's pretty dope. Very excellent choice, man. Very, very excellent choice. And guys, like for me, I think this is like a uniform as a whole. Top three, I think single jersey. I'm going to have to put this as the best uh, City Connect. Okay, so excellent choice, guys. For me, number eight is going to be this one. So we'll stop sharing. This is going a lot smoother now that I actually figured it out. Collab NHL. And guys, I'm bringing it back home to Sweet Home Chicago. With the Chicago Blackhawks away jersey. And guys, they have the 35 patch on there. So I, I actually have the home version of this, the red version, but I like the white version better. Uh, for Adidas, I think the white version works a lot better than the red version. Now, guys, the 35 patch is for Tony Esposito's passing. And Tony Esposito was a legendary goalie for the Blackhawks. And his brother was a legendary, uh, there you go, legendary skill player. For the Boston Bruins. So, guys, Tony Esposito is, again, one of the best goalies of all time. He's not the best. I'm not saying that, but he is towards the very top, uh, top, you know, portion of that list. A uh, big, big icon in Chicago and in, in hockey in general. So, having an already classic, beautiful logo and jersey, and then you add a patch for a historic Ice hockey legend. That's why I put it in my number eight spot for 2022. Okay, cool. And that's that. Leo, why don't you hit us with number seven? Yeah, that's a fantastic jersey, man. I mean, it's such a beauty. Uh, my number seven jersey is actually a jersey I don't have at all. Okay. So it's the Florida Panthers reverse retro from this year. And what I love about the jersey is it screams Florida. <laughs> it's just yeah. different. And there we have it, right? We see Jag with it right now. You have the palm trees with the hockey stick. I think it's just a phenomenal looking jersey. And it's so different. It's so out the box. Um, That's, the, I think, the beauty of it. It's not your typical jersey. We don't think of heat and sun when it comes to hockey. So that's my seventh pick. For this list, man, it just look it looks great on ice. It's a good looking jersey. 
very fair man very fair so, so as you guys can see I, I shared the screen now and like just the absolute um vibrancy of that jersey dude is, is insane like everything leo explained is spot on man like when i seen this jersey come out man it's like one of those ones you you must have the only thing that brings me down for me a little bit is the color scheme that they chose for the numbers i mean but besides that i mean like the jersey itself the jersey base itself is like in my eyes a 10 out of 10 man they they, they like completely straight up maxed it out all right guys so for me we're gonna take it back to a couple spots from leo's so leo this is gonna be our first one that we both have in our top 10 list i just have it a little bit higher all right i'm going to present share screen as we speak boom 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 all right guys so again we're gonna pull back up this um image of the valley edition and for me man like I, I love the City Connect concept. I love the City Edition concept. I love the Reverse Retro concept and the Color Rush concept. I love the special themed jerseys. Um, I, I like Reverse Retro idea the best that they do it every other season. I think it makes it more um, more enticing. But the reason why I chose this one, man, they wore it multiple seasons as their City Edition. But this jersey really looks like a sun setting in the desert. With those valleys in the background, it says the valley, you know, like, I mean, the, the color scheme is unique only to the Phoenix Suns, man. Like, like what other professional team, like top-tier team, has purple, black, and orange? You know, uh, the font is unique. And they're, they're just for me, there's nothing more that you could ask for in a jersey. At first, I thought this one was a right, but it really grew on me. And then when I got it in person, it just, like, like, like was, like, overwhelming with, like, coolness. So, for me, number seven uh, is the Valley, and I believe Leo had it at number 10. Yep, yep, I did. Okay, cool. And how many of your top 10 jerseys do you own? Do you own all 10? Uh, I wish. <laughs> I wish, my friend. Let's see here. So one, two, three, four, five, six of them. You own six of them. Okay, so I I got seven of my top 10. Uh, I definitely have a few on my on my radar, especially uh, a couple, I'll, you know, the ones I'll talk about a little bit more in the, in the uh, upcoming numbers. But sure. did you notice about this jersey that I love? Okay. You notice the pixelation? Yeah, man. See, see, so, like, I, again, that, that's another reason why this is, you know, let me pull back here. Another reason why that's in my top 10 chart, man, it's because of pixelation. But it's You know cool what that and... reminds me of? Huh? That reminds me of when, when you go on your weather wrap and you look at the radar. Yeah. And, and you know, you could switch from participation... You could switch to like air quality <laughs> stuff. So if you look at the heat index, it has, I believe, the reds and oranges, and so I believe this is like a heat index pixelated weather design almost because it's so hot in the in the valley. So yeah. they made it like a heat index thing. I know I don't think anybody ever really noticed that, but that's what yeah. I think it is at least. No more, no, yeah, yes, so and then like. You guys can see it right there we talk about it. and then like what i like about it too is that the jersey the jersey's like sewn into panels yes yeah. so right there if you can see very lightly right that's where one of the stitching is and then over here so it's two panels sewn into the jersey. i mean i'm sorry it's it's one panel that's sewn into the jersey and making it like right. three different sections what it reminds me of leo it reminds me of how the fuck do we change this back there we go no <laughs> nope there we go it reminds me of you remember that like Atari game where it was like a little like rectangle on the bottom and there's a ball. Yeah. And and you gotta move it around and the ball bounces and like breaks the blocks. That, that's what the jersey reminds me of. Yeah, yeah. It does have that effect. All right, man. Take us away with number six. So number six for me is another jersey I do have in the collection. Um again, I don't have it right now, but it's the Colorado Rockies City Connect jersey. Now you're gonna notice the theme with my list. It's more of the specialty jerseys. Um, I actually only, only have one regular jersey on this list, but uh, but we'll get into that one later on. Uh, this is the Colorado Rockies. I think it's the best City Connect jersey because of how clean it looks. It's just a really clean look. And then I'm a sucker for this kind of green, man. I love like a nice dark, deep forest green. 
And then throughout the jersey, you have little hints of purple, which of course ties into the regular Colorado Rockies colors. Clean jersey, man. I really love this jersey. The hat looks good with it. It's just a really nice jersey. I actually wish they put like white pants or some sort of white on the pants. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Man, and I'm sure that's the authentic one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the authentic. It's beauty. You got to show this up close. Cool. Let me do it. Through so Leo. All right, there you go, go guys. There's everything he was talking about. Plus two, it all the details on it, all the minor details like the piping on the sleeves, and the rear numbers is all in purple. Mm -hmm. Purple Nike logo. Purple uh, up here. On the Batterman logo. Man, that's a sweet so again, one. Excellent and very solid choice, Leo. Very solid number six. Thank you. All right, guys. So that number six, yeah, man. It's like you said, you know, like, like there's too much going on with the jersey. And again, it really has the Colorado theme. It even has the uh, coordinates. Mm, yeah. Or the, the amplitude the on the sleeve. And it has yeah. the coordinates, actually. So really cool. Let me pull this one back up because now, Leo, we're going to hit our second combined top 10. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Exactly. Uh oh Let's see what it is. <laughs> Boom. Number six, guys. I'm going with the Washington. Uh, Washington. Uh, sorry, Nationals. All right. And the sublimation on the jersey is too freaking how should I say it? the sublimation on the jersey is too intricate? I mean, it has the the flower petals and guys. What I like about this one and why I chose it is it, it's it came out in 2022 for the MLB season for the Nationals. The color scheme, having flowers, everything about the jersey, the uniqueness of it. The Nationals had a lot of balls and a lot of bravery and didn't care about how it was going to respond to the public. They did something that they feel represented their city. And for me, it's one of the first um, City Connects like that to, 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 to be able to do that. And one of my runners up. So, guys, at the end, Leo, let's do two runners up. You got um, one of my runners up is going to be for the same reason. But, you know, guys, like this Washington National Jersey, man, like really, really exemplifies what it should be. Not Like Leo said, the NBA, the Wizards have the – same idea they have a blossom jersey where it's all pink and actually from what i understand their soccer team too is going to be doing a blossom themed jersey mm. in the mls so that's gonna be interesting to see all right that's guys cool. again too unique too creative too city and area inspired thus training a city connect inspirational jersey the way it should be right all right well, little tickets where with number five so number five this is the only jersey on the list that is a regular jersey, right? So when I say regular jersey, it's a part of the, um, I guess, normal rotation of this team's jersey, of okay. this team, period. So okay. it's the Chargers jersey in oh, royal oh, oh. and yellow numbers. Now they have two different types of, they have three different types of blues, in fact, because we were trying to research it. They have the powder blues, which look fantastic. They have the navy blue with the white numbers and then this oh my god this royal blue with yeah, yellow man. dude yeah is the it's the best now listen i don't you guys tell me if this is a color rush jersey i really don't know yeah. if it's just a plain alternate i don't know but this jersey is absolutely fire if they ever make this in the nike elite i'm copping it yeah yeah same dude same so like it, I had the same re every time I see this uh, combination, I had the same reaction you do. Like, oh man! But it's like every time that I that I pull this photo up, or when I was researching photos to to use for this uh, demonstration, or this live, I should say, man, like yeah. like like the like the thing never gets old. <laughs> it, it, it never stops uh, dropping your jaw. It's so nice. It's so nice. All right, guys. It really is. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so nice. All right, so. For number five, mine is actually the same, uh, close to the same color scheme, different sport though. Mm. All right. And we have the Ooh. Golden State Warriors 
classic edition jersey again we got that nice royal color with gold but however this one has uh white and red on there now guys i i mean like the, the, for, for me this, this this is one of the best jerseys that they wore this like classic edition that they created is just insane man it's just mm-hmm. insane especially to see it come back in modern times and to be worn in modern times where, where it's like clearly a vintage looking jersey also too leo didn't did, 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 did they win the uh championship last year with these ones no, they won in the blue. Well, 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 well they didn't win it, but, but it's from the, yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't win it, but it's from the same season, right? Twenty one. Uh, from the same 22. season, but he broke the record. He broke the three point record in Madison Square Garden with this jersey. So it has exactly. major significance. Exactly, exactly. So, so we got record setting, and it's they won the championship for the season. Correct. Um, not they didn't win the, the championship in the jersey, but they won them this season. You know, guys. Correct. So, so uh, it's the championship jersey for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, man. So just not aesthetically, but but there's too much uh, history behind it from last season for yeah. me not to have put it on my top ten list and not top five. So it's funny about this jersey, Jag. I okay. actually had this jersey in Swingman because, of course, they don't make them in authentic. They don't make the authentic, correct? And I want to get rid of all my Swingmans in my collection, and for some reason, I don't know if I could let this one go. I wouldn't. I want to do that, and I, I kind of regret not getting it. And again, guys, like if you guys heard me uh, talk on the the jersey stuff before and theme, like the, the Warriors are definitely not my team. They're like it's. And again, if you, if you guys are Warriors fans, it's nothing against you or the organization or your city or your family, or your friends. Just for me, it's just one of the teams that I like uh, towards the bottom of the list of the NBA teams. But dude, like even with that said, I still would consider getting the Swingman, which I really don't want Swingmans, but I would still consider getting this, if, you know, if I was able to find one, which now it's going to be near impossible, but. I probably get like uh, I probably get Draymond, you know, or somebody else besides Curry because I have a couple Curry jerseys. But yeah, man, like too 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 heavy to uh, not have on my top ten. Mm-hmm. That's a good pick. Okay, man, take us away with number four. So number four for me is start of this NBA season. We had the City Connect. Sorry, the City Edition jerseys. I get confused. City Connect, City Edition. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think this is one of the better releases of this year is this bad boy right here, the Celtics in the forest green with black and gold trims. It's a beauty. First off, Jason Tatum's having an MVP style season. He is. Um, So let's, you know, let's also incorporate the player when we get these jerseys because that does matter. And then the fact that the Celtics word marking is done in a Bill Russell, uh, basically owned a restaurant in the South in Boston area. Correct. And the word marking for the name of the restaurant was done in this cursive like this. Yeah. Gold trims, uh, representing his eleven championships. Bill Bill Russell, man, I need a number six patch on this. Yeah. If there's gonna be one jersey that I need to put a, a six patch on, it's, it's got to be this one. It's his home team. Yeah. It's his jersey. So. Yeah. And then, you know, just the beautiful parquet floors designed on the side trim with the diamonds. I love what Nike's doing. I think this one is an absolute hit. Probably the best for me as far as new releases for this year, right? There's other close ones, but this one I think just looks aesthetically beautiful. It's a solid jersey. This is my number four. Excellent. So, Leo, there's actually no uh, point for me to change the screen or to pull my jason tatum city edition out because i actually have the same jersey as number four. Oh, <laughs> look at that so guys this is gonna be our first so we already have the valley and washington so far valley and washington are both on our top 10 just in different rankings but number four this celtics city edition is the first jersey that me and leo have uh agreed at the same position mm-hmm. so guys pretty much everything that leo said um now leo i i, I had you uh blown up on the screen when you were presenting the jersey guys everything you said is, is the reason why I, I have it too you know the jersey looks good um one two it's for a top in my opinion a top three player of all time a top three player of all time dude yeah 100 percent. i mean you can't yeah you, you can't know, argue like, what he done for the league it, exactly dude like way too much but i mean the, the man won 11 championships and two of them he was coaching while playing you know so i mean Again, they they have the patch, like you said, a, it's a mm-hmm. Bill Russell patch for a Bill Russell inspired jersey. They took something from the city from his restaurant. They had the war mark. I mean, there's just too much about the jersey from the team, from the city, and from him 
and it's just the same concept as Washington. They took everything and put it together so nicely, and that's what a city edition should be, right? Absolutely. So, guy, again, guys, obviously we both have it as number four, so I think it's fair to to, to see why it's number four. <laughs> All right, let's go number three. So, number three for me, man. Um, so we just spoke about what I think is this year's best city edition jersey. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to what I think was last year's best city edition jersey. Okay. And we have the Nikola Jokic Denver Nuggets authentic jersey. And again, this is a masterpiece of a jersey, right? It is. It's navy blue. We have yellow, multiple layers of stitch around the twill. We have nods to throw back, um, you know, uh, history in the Nuggets, going back to as far as the ABA, which is crazy. Yeah. We have different fonts, different number fonts. So this is from the Dikembe Mutombo days. The Denver is from a different era, but they made it all look beautiful. Even the V-neck, uh, you know, design that we have, that's from the Carmelo days. They added a little bit of baby blue on the trim. Gorgeous jersey. And then we spoke about Mile High City, Mile High Basketball. You know, I just love what they did with this jersey, man. And it does, it just looks so clean at the same time. So a bunch of jerseys matched up, but this just looks clean. My third favorite jersey from 2022 is this one right here. Excellent, dude. And I just had that whole explanation for you on the white screen. Now, guys, I also own the jersey and for me, I had to get that jersey. I needed a Jokic jersey. So, guys, um, one of my parents is Serbian. So, Jokic is obviously Serbian. So, I really wanted a Jokic jersey bad. I had a sweet man. I ended up getting that sweet man autographed at a private signing. Uh, so, I wanted a authentic to have in the collection, and I got that jersey. I'm even considering this year's. Uh, guys, again, he won MVP last year. Just as every, everything that Leo explained, there's, there's just too much going on with the jersey not to, uh, not to overlook it for 2022. Right. All right, guys, so we're going to stop sharing that and let's go present share screen for my number three. Boom, 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 boom. NHL folder. Bop, 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 bop. All right, guys, and there you can see the screen. And it is going to be the Washington Capitals Reverse Retro 2.0. I'm going to get the mm. jersey right here. So, guys. Again, it, it's one of those things that they maxed this jersey out. I don't think you could do anything different than this. Let me let, let me throw myself on the uh, on the solo. So you, you can't like really get anything uh, better than this in terms of maxing out the jersey for what they were going for. They were going for a screaming eagle. This is called the screaming eagle jerseys from back in the day. It was in the early two thousands. They redid the colors. Same colors, just a different layout. And guys, they, they completely maxed it out. And for me, I like it with the with the sponsor patch on the other side. So as you guys can see here with the sponsor patch that they have, well, you can't see it in, in that photo of Ovechkin. But guys, Ovechkin already set two records in this jersey. You know, and they keep winning with these jerseys, which is crazy. Uh, he keeps scoring with this jersey. So guys, like, he's just like Curry set numbers with the uh, Warriors classic mm -hmm. Ovechkin said numbers two times in this uh reverse retro 2.0 it, like I said it's maxed out you, you you can't like really do anything better maybe maybe something with the colors on the numbers but I, I don't even think that I think this jersey is just fine the way it is everybody loves it they sold out almost instantly from the reverse virtuals these are like the first ones that pretty much sold out instantly on every release so uh, they restocked once or twice already. And again, they just keep selling out, guys. Sales, records, looks, et cetera, man. This jersey is just, uh, just too hot not to have on my top three. Yep. It's a beauty. Excellent. All right, Leo, take us away with number two. So number two for me is unfortunately a jersey I don't own. But when I say it's on the radar, I have two jerseys on the radar right now. Okay. It's absolutely this one. Okay. And... Uh, a Nikola Jokic City Edition because just how good he's playing. Yeah. I, I kind of added that to the radar. I'm in no rush to get it, but again, <laughs> it's one of those hey. things. If there's any, if there's two jerseys that I'm actually interested in, those are the two. But this jersey 
is, I think, the best NFL jersey to come out in the year, calendar year, 2022. Okay. It's the New York Giants, New York football Giants throwback. It is an absolute fucking beauty, man. Yeah, man. And, and what I love about this jersey, so it's it's available right now on Fanatics, but I'm waiting for my discount. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm waiting for some sort of discount because I will absolutely pick this one up at as soon as it's discounted. But if you take a look at it, man, and what I love about this jersey is they add the old school Giants logo helmet, like in the Navy too. So the, the fact Navy. that it's a royal blue and then they added the Navy helmet. Just like the work. Dude, this is an absolute, a absolute must uh pick up for me for 2023 yeah. this will definitely be in my collection i, I can't wait dude e excellent choice man it's like you said man like they, they could have changed the helmet to royal right <clears throat> everybody used to always wonder back in the 90s how come you have a navy helmet with a with a blue jersey mm -hmm. they could have changed it they didn't do it like this this looks awesome on the field honestly i think they should go back to these as much as i love the giants uh home jerseys you know it's, it's it's really clean it's simple and it works well but this one just works mm. even better right okay so that's your number two yeah okay so we're gonna stop sharing we're gonna change leagues we're gonna go to my number two and this was really hard for me not to put it at number one the, the this uniform as a whole is just way too crazy All right, guys. If for, yeah, for me, it's going to be the Texas Rangers. Now the okay, guys. So the Texas Rangers have a home jersey, in a away jersey, a home alternate, a road alternate, a turn back the clock, mm. which in baseball is their their their, their uh, wording for throwback, and then they have this powder blue um, alternate. And this jersey, guys, I'm going to show it here in a second. Is just not just the jersey, but the uniform as a whole. I wanted this one so bad since he started wearing them, I believe, two seasons ago, or 2020, I think, was the first time. Uh, they had an inaugural season patch for their stadium on that one. Last year, no patch. This season, they have a patch again. And with that said, I'm going to expand the screen so you can see the patch. And this is the patch, guys. It's a 50-year anniversary patch only for 2022. There we go. It has a 10-gallon cowboy hat on it for crying out loud. Look at that. And again, guys, it is kiss cut. If you guys are wondering what kiss cut means, it is when you take the top layer of twill and cut it out to expose the layers under it. Okay, guys? So that's kiss cut. It's not standard stacked twill. I have a video on that. Check it out. And on the back, we got a very special font. So on the back, we have the classic Rangers font wow. for the numbers and the letters. But on the front, we got a cursive. This jersey is a very, very soft powder blue okay guys um being that the patch signifies 2022 i mean you got the like absolute for me this is the best powder blue jersey in baseball right now like a few teams are doing the powder blue again this is the this is by far the best one it's one jersey yeah. i wanted forever it popped back up on finance they did a restock i got it for extremely cheap with all these coupons and discount codes etc etc i ended up getting a customized uh And I love the freaking jersey, man. That's a good. That's a good number two. That's a, that's a nice baseball jersey, dude. Yeah, dude, and it's the whole uniform, man. I mean, like, dude, it's, it's just too powerful, man. Especially when you see these like up close, the jersey's just way too powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leo, take us away with our. Oh, which which your number one? So number one, funny enough, it's a sport I don't really follow. <laughs> yeah. uh, probably giving it up, but again, he kind of touched on it. I believe. You made this in your number three. Oh, okay. Uh, number one, man. Let's get right to it, right? Let's get so right to it. So we had the retro reverse or reverse retro, my bad. And I had the Alex Ovechkin authentic jersey. Again, I don't have to say too much because he's already <laughs> spoke about the beauty of the jersey. I uh, just did a video on this jersey, so go check that out if they know if you want to see more details of it. Yeah. But what I love about this jersey was this, right? to kind of add on top of what it, already what Jaguar said, is you have the Screaming New jersey from 2005, but then you also have the Caps, the Capital jerseys 
in that colorway. So like at one point they put this on the center crest and it's basically from the same year, which I never knew that before. And they use the same color scheme of that one. So when I say this is like a perfect blend of throwbacks, city edition or throwback edition, I should say, it is a beauty of a jersey. And they combined the Screaming Eagle with the Capitals version of the jersey. And it's beautiful. It's just totally beautiful. And this is my number one. I think this is the best jersey of the year. And not only because of that, you know, you got to include what Alex Ovechkin has been doing in the league, man. So, you know, again, breaking records. Those breaking things records. matter when we have our collections and we're pulling out our jerseys. So this is my number one pick for the year. Retro, reverse retro, funny enough. And yeah, that's number one. That's number one. Yep. Very fair enough, dude. That is a absolute beautiful jersey. Um but the, I, I mean I mean between both of our explanations, man, like like just bring that switch more you could add on to it. Um other than good job. Good job, man. So so all right, so so let's count so far how many we have together. We got the Valley, we got Washington, we got the Celtics, and we got the Capitals. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Almost half. Almost half. All right, guys. So are you ready for my number one? Oof. Can't wait. Is it, gonna be somebody, gonna be. is it going to be someone that we haven't seen yet, or is it going to be someone that we already had? Uh, I think it's something we haven't seen. If I know you, if I know you, <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to be the White Sox. Uh, maybe it is. Let's see. <laughs> so, guys, I love Leo for that. I absolutely love Leo for that, but it is not the White Sox. And it's not one that's new. It's one that we both already have. <laughs> so we have now a total of one, two, three, four, five. So half of our list, this is cool, man. So actually, I, I was thinking that more of our list was going to be the same. Yeah. So for me, like having a list that's least the same is better. Yeah. Makes it more interesting. Yeah. But for me, my number one, like jersey, well, uniform, like single jersey, I, I maybe choose different, but my number one uniform is doing like, there's really nothing else more than you can see. I think this specific version with the numbers, I think was the first time they wore it was this year mm -hmm. with, with the gold numbers versus white. And then I think I think the other versions had a white stripe on the pants mm -hmm. uh, underneath the, the bolt. But dude, this jersey is too, like in uniform actually as a whole, it's blue, it's blue, than white helmet. Like, like every time I look at this uniform, man, you can't get enough of it. It's too good. It's too, dude. It's it, okay. So they call the Chargers, and this, this whole uniform is freaking electrifying. Like, if I was the Chargers, I would call this electric blue. <laughs> Straight up, dude. Or like shock blue or something, you know, man. It's it's like, it is I don't know, man. Like, man. like, for me, like right now, it, so so we're talking about the four major sports. Obviously, that like, like it's not my favorite sport. It, it, my favorite sport from the four major sports is basketball. But, mm. you know, from the four major sports, let's be realistic America's team from the four major sports is football. So, probably the biggest sport in the, in, in the United States and North America, you'd even say, well, not North America, but the United States is NFL. This mm -hmm. by far is the number one uniform in the NFL currently. Oh, so nice. Like like for me, like second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, there's a lot of different choices to, to consider. Yeah. Right? But then for number one, this is like for me a clear number one, man. Like, like no questions asked. Mm -hmm. So just based on like, I don't like basic things just strictly on aesthetics, but dude, like, like it's too hard for me not to put on my number one. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I was it's, I was gonna I was gonna put my Rangers as number one because they had the patches and the signing factor, but I don't know. Every time I look at this, I'm like, dude, no, man. The, it, it's the, this uniform is insane. It's the prettiest girl in the class. It's the prettiest girl, dude. Yeah, <laughs> let's be realistic, man. It's the hottest girl in, in the school district. It's, it's the hottest girl in the school. It's, it's I mean, the hottest girl in the school it, district. It, it's a baddie. It's yeah. a baddie, man. District eight thirteen or wherever it is. It's the hottest girl in the whole district eight thirteen. It looks so good. It looks really good. Yeah. All right, guys. So Leo, um. Guys, real real quick, uh, follow him at King Leonidas. He has a lot of subscribers. He has a lot of dope videos, guys. He also does jerseys, hoodies, uh, jackets too, if I remember, sneakers. He does a lot of different things, you know, from uh, urban and hip-hop culture clothing, man. And he does an excellent job. He has the setup. His videos are direct, straightforward. Thank you. He shoots them. He loads them. 
and it works, dude. It's like a firecracker. Light, <laughs> it's like light sizzle pop. And that's all you need, dude. Check him out, dude. Uh, he, he is like one of my favorite Jersey guys on YouTube you. and one of my favorite uh, Jersey guys in the groups, in the, in the Jersey groups and community. And then I'm um, Jersey underscore Jaguar. Uh, guys, obviously, this is not my leaf. So the ones who are watching and will watch, like you guys already see my videos, um, there's going to be a lot more to come. A lot more to come and start ex expect to start seeing a lot of fashion stuff and a lot maybe possibly traveling too. Nice. Up in the air, possibly. Nice. All right, guys. So me and Leo will give you our top 10 in order that we ranked. Uh, we chose from a list of 20 that we pre-decided on. Some of the other ones were the Raiders, uh, current home jerseys. Yeah. Uh, another one we decided on was St. Louis Cardinals, Cream Alternate, for example. So, Leo, if you could give us one more unofficial. Yeah. Is, let's let's do – it has to be somewhere in the top three. Not necessarily number one or two or three. Either one, two, or three, your unofficial one that, 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 that you did it through on, what would it be? So, the Minnesota Winter Classic. Okay. Was very close to making it. And, honestly, I, I probably could have replaced the Florida Panthers Retro Reverse. Okay. With that jersey. It was a it's a beautiful jersey. And the fact that they, they wore it in the twenty twenty two season, okay. you know, I would say that's really close. Um the Steelers color rush was up there, and okay, then too. probably the Texans powder. So more or less the, about the same jerseys that you had picked. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think those would be my three that just, you know, could have easily been on the list, but just missed it. Just missed it. All right, cool. So for me, number three is going to be this one, or, or one of my top three, but it just missed it. I don't know how it just missed it. I should have put it on here, man. Again, like jerseys as a whole, Um, for City Connect jerseys, I think it's like a top three, maybe five, somewhere in there. But as a uniform, I think this is the best City Connect uniform. Not the best jersey City Connect, but the best uniform. I mean, guys, like, like it really feels like a mean – Hit you in the face, South Side Chicago, Jersey man. You know, you know, like there's there's times where I basically lived at the Sox Stadium because I've been to so many games. You know, um, yeah. I mean, I mean, just like the black, it, it's black, but it has like really faint gray, like subtle. It looks almost like a powder or like clouds in there or something like that, right? Or, or like a camo, you could even call it. Really faint, you could barely see it. But then you got the gray stripes, and it's actually white on top of gray twills. So that's one. Uh, another one that just missed it. Was Leo's um, Jokic Nuggets again, guys? Too mm. much history on that jersey, taking too much. Like, like that city edition was based on the mixtape, I believe that they called it that. Yeah, and they were taking different generations of mentioning the guy. It was basically a reverse retro. It was a basketball version of reverse retro. <laughs> retro. Yeah, they did it justice. Plus, two uh, Jokic won his second MVP, and my yeah. first one's actually going to be this jersey right here. Now, the reason this would have been my number one, but me and Leo only decided to stick to five sports to keep it. Um, relative to, to North America. But guys, this is actually my number one Ooh. jersey and uniform of 2022. I still would like this one. Yeah, yeah. Let me know uh, Let me know if you see an XL or 2XL out there. XL or 2XL. And likewise, if you see a large and the authentic, the player version. So guys, uh, for those of you who don't follow soccer, the replicas are called the fan version and the authentic are called the player version. Here in the United States, they still call it replica and authentic, but the rest of the world it's called uh fan and player or stadium mm -hmm. and player. So, guys, the reason why I would have chose this as my number one, if we did all five sports, it's an eight out of ten in terms of looks. Mm -hmm. They're in pretty much every World Cup. Um records were multiple records were set with this uniform. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, and obviously they won the World Cup in it. So, guys, every four years the World Cup comes on. They estimated that 5 billion people tuned into this World Cup. Wow. This jersey is sold out everywhere. Not only is it sold out everywhere, it's going for double for flippers. Flippers are doubling the price, if not tripling it, at some point when, he, when they first won. Right. So the resale value is insane if you could get one. The sellout value is insane. There was records hit. An estimated billions of people seen this jersey live multiple times throughout the World Cup. So this, if we did soccer, if we included soccer and did five sports instead of four, this would have been my number one for 2022, man. Just too much, too much, um, too much it. spotlight. And, and again, it's an eight out of 10. It's not even an ugly uniform or ugly jersey, to say the least. So beautiful yeah, jersey. No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really nice one. And, yeah. uh, and like you said, man, it's just so much, so much like history 
because of this jersey. I just, yeah, actually man. the first soccer game I ever watched was this game. Oh, there you go. So I'm one of the five billion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And once you start watching soccer or following soccer and collecting soccer, it doesn't end. Yep. It just it just gets too addicting. All right, guys. So actually we finished off exactly at an hour, and that was our target. So again, guys, nice. let me let me throw I just made this real quick, so excuse the cheap quality. So I'm just to have it on the screen. And again, guys, I made this while we were doing this presentation. Look so how quick you are here, so you can physically see it. Uh, physically see it. These are our YouTubes. All right, guys. Jersey yep. underscore Jaguar and King Space Leonidas. Follow him. Uh, and then when he posts this on his channel, if you guys like to follow me, we both greatly appreciate it. And we both appreciate uh, all you guys not only watching this video, but we also appreciate you guys viewing all of our videos and all of our subscribers, guys. And if there's anything you'd like to see either me or him doing our channels, whether it's together or whether it's solo, don't hesitate to, to leave it in these comments or on any of the comments on our videos. And we'll be happy to accommodate you guys. Absolutely. All right, Leo, thanks thanks again for, for Thank again, initiating this uh, collaboration, man. No, it's awesome. I'm going to upload this on mine. I'm also going to put Jersey Jags YouTube on mine. So Likewise. be on the lookout for that. Once he downloads this, he's going to send it to me. Likewise. And I'll upload it on mine as, as well. But I appreciate you having me, man. This was awesome. It was um, awesome, dude. It, we have to do it, this it's again. It's freaking great. Okay, cool, man. Well, well, guys, that's it. Thanks for the, for those of you who watched live. Thanks for watching live. And for those of you who are going to be watching this as the recording version, thanks for hopping in. And guys, also leave in the comments on both of our channels who was your top 10. I know mm -hmm. we're both interested to see what you guys are thinking. Absolutely. All right, guys. This that's it. Easy. Jaguar out. King Leo out. Later, brother. Later, later.